Well, I must say, this entertainment center came out beautiful. If you'd like to see how we did it, stay with us for a few minutes and we'll show you. So here we are in the garage with our final building process of our brand new entertainment center. And this one has that beautiful Honduras mahogany top. So what we're going to do next is take you through each piece, give you an idea of how we built it, and then come back and assemble it together. What we have here is the base for the actual cabinet. As you can see, it's also made with that beautiful Honduras mahogany. Now take a look at our four corners. They were made with a 45 degree miter cut joined together with a spline for added strength. Also on the inside you can see this different color wood. This is pine used for a cleat that will help attach the base to the actual cabinet. So what we did is we turned the cabinet upside down to make for installing the base a little easier. So what we're going to do is center the base with the actual cabinet. So we measure the base and we have 69 and 3 8 Then we go ahead and measure the actual cabinet and we get 70 and an eighth. Now what you do with your little scratch pad, write down 70 and an eighth, subtract 69 and 3 8 That equals 3 quarters of an inch. You divide that by 2 and that equals 3 8 Then you grab your combination square, set it to 3 8 of an inch. Now you have a guide to go by when you're installing your base to the cabinet. So you saw how we centered the base to the actual cabinet. We threw a couple of clamps on it just to hold it into place for now. Now we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a pilot hole for our number eight wood screw to attach the cleat to the bottom of the cabinet. We're going to do this with our two-in-one bit. This is the pilot hole for the number eight wood screw and this other part is actually a recess for the screw head so it'll flush out on top of the wood. Let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, now that was the fast part. Now we got to slow it down a little bit since we're going to be putting the actual screws in. Now we already measured and made sure that it's centered off of both sides. So we're going to start with putting just two screws in, one on this side and on this side. We have all the screws in but one. Now what helped when we were going around, we checked where every screw was that it had the same distance away from the cabinet to the base to make it all uniform. And having an extra clamp really helped out the whole process. Now let's go ahead and put our last screw in and move on to our next step. We're going to reassemble the drawer to the cabinet. Let me say the cabinet was made with 3 quarter inch birch plywood and the front has a fascia with 3 quarter inch curly maple, which really complements the birch plywood, as well as the drawer front has maple as well. It's a regular maple, but that will also complement the curly maple. So our next step, we're going to go ahead and grab our drawer slides, install them, and slide it together. So now that our drawer is already installed, Next, we're going to take a look at the back panel for the cabinet. As you can see, it's made out of quarter inch Lua mahogany, and these holes were pre-cut to allow for wiring of our components. Now, on the sides of the back of the cabinet, there's a quarter inch dado, and that allows for the Luan to sit flush when it's installed. With connecting the back panel to the cabinet, we're just going to use these three quarter inch brads. Notice here that we have a bar clamp, and what that did is helped us hold this in place while we nail it. Well, now we're moving on. The back is already done, and it looks great. Next, we're going to grab the top and fasten that to the top of the cabinet. Now this will be mounted much the same way as the base, except we'll use inch and a quarter screws in our pre-drilled holes. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on top, center it up, and screw it down. 
Okay, well there's our last screw into the top mounted to the cabinet. Now it's time for our last leg of the journey. That's right, you guessed it. Time to remount our doors. Okay, well there you go. All of the hardware for the door is installed. What we did is we took the hardware off after we initially hung it so we could finish the cabinet. What I like to do is put all the hardware in an individual Ziploc bag which makes it easier for organization. Okay, well with these hinges, after your hardware is mounted, you just go ahead and pop it on. And then the satisfaction is complete. Okay, let's go ahead and get our other door. Okay, well there you have it. This beautiful entertainment center is all put back together with a beautiful finish on it. Now the only thing missing, of course, is the handles for the doors and the drawer. You see, the new owner hasn't decided what he wanted yet. Or actually, I guess it's more that uh, his wife hasn't decided what he wants yet. This is Eddie Vernier, and we'll see you next time.